have the ability to initiate these big fights, but it, they have predominantly magic damage mm -hmm. that you're going to have to be worrying about. So um, they have to be real careful. They're going to need side. He puts Iron Shell on, and there's the damage. He's and done. Wow, that's so much. Oh, oh, oh cut, turn it around. Some time. Uh, Can he get the hit on A? Oh, oh first they get him. Yes, really. Skyrath Mage with the first blood. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Up the AI blast. Ooh, fun. A little bit on a different page there. There's Marana Ulti. Can get him in Viz. I, uh, that entire sequence just felt oh, they weird. Find him. Oh, stun comes through. Nice. Bonus damage as well. Lightning Storm to so low. Oh, got it. Vacuum damage, man. Gotta watch out. Here we go. Gonna try to follow this up. Greedy's there. Cogs down to the low ground flop. He's gonna eat a lot of damage, but the Mystic Flare finishes him off as well. So we're gonna have three down on Unknown. I was just gonna say, that was... Kill attempt and another kill advantage going to Root. He's almost spotting out the A. Does it bounce? It doesn't. Very close. If he had a bit more vision there, that would have jumped, yep. I think. Would have had the Yules. Could have solo killed him. Yep. At bottom, we see that Desso going He's to work. He's ready to go. Is he going to go? There's going to be the fissional lead. Moo at about a half health. And just being chopped down. Big kill. Monkey comes in and just dies to mostly cleave damage. Now Fluff. Oh my gosh. Using that force staff. He needs his Glimmer Cape, but he's got six seconds to go. One hit. Oh. There's the Grave. That'll buy him some time here. Silence as well, and he's TPing out. It's going to be close. He makes it. Nice escape. That'll be Dazzle's death. But that's a great that's kill a for Sven. Kill, man. That was a Quelling Blade, by the way. That's normally something we only see Blink Sven's able to do, but really. Not respecting the damage output from Sven. Well, uh, they didn't expect him to be there was the problem. Well, I mean, even the Darkseer came in later, though, to try yeah, to help and true. died in three swipes. And here we go. TC wants to move in. There's going to be... Oh, oh! Early. That's really dangerous. And he's got to ha have some help from Fluff. Fluff did get the silence right, off. They They're going to... Yep. There's the Aegis, though. Just an Aegis kill. And that Aegis was probably not far from expiring anyway. Again, oh, missed Oh, missed it! Now they're going to try to turn this around. Here we go, Kotaro. About half out. Beautiful Mystic Flare. He's going to drop. BKB's up on Zoltaro. Alt goes off, catches Fluff. Four Staff gets him out of the way a bit. Monkey's forever trying to follow. Another good Fissure slows it down. Now the Marana ult here we're going to see. Oh, that one did miss. Split Earth on point. <laughs> Through the trees that time. TC going to be surged, trying to find another target, but he went the wrong way. As we see the Earthshaker will scurry. He might catch him. He's so fast. Look at this. Yule comes got it. up. Is he going to hit it? I thought oh. it was a little late, but he was feeling this, you know, he missed a couple and you're like, oh, I'm really scared to use this ability. <laughs> he got him though. TC getting the, the most clutch stun of the game. Yep. There's the vacuum, great vacuum. Yes. And he land the stun, it's a little bit weird. I'll play yeah. great echo slam just in time. Oh. Damage coming out, Monkey's Forever is low, but he should be able to heal. He doesn't get it off in time. TC. And now TC in trouble. That's it zero. Yep, that's actually a little bit misexecuted. We've seen some of those splitters just be off a bit. The effort, he'll probably hook shot before he dies. We'll see, there it goes to one of his allies. A little bit of Desolate damage on the Shadow Fiend's BKB's got to be low here, but TC's is pretty much the same. Great big oh, dodge stops the stun. Beautiful. That means Sven's damage output's going to be a bit weak from here. There's the wall as well. Big dunk on TC. TC in trouble. Two shot by the same. Oh, Great what a great. Great. L comes to Earthshaker <laughs> drops. And now the slow on Sven. He's in trouble. They guided him unbelievably well. They ended up losing TC, but in the end, it really didn't matter. That was such an amazing sequence of great. But Kotaru at this point's only swung two or three times in any meaningful way. Look at the grave. That grave, man. Almost enough. The Earthshaker, boom! Arrow in the back from Mu. Radiance and, you know, Mu at this attack. point just able to chop away at Kotaru with that Desolator damage. TC was only about a second away from living there as well, so that Radiance actually could have been worse. But speaking of worse, how about a Rax down as Root? Finally! Finally taking a win and translating it to what they want, which is the rubble standing at tier three. There's going to be a hook uh, in from okay. Greedy. Uh, this is dangerous. Uh, Cogs up move and Moo. It seems like Greedy continues to want to initiate on Moo, but Moo can always leap away, and they end up getting Ooh, nothing. Oh! The bottom. Coming back out. There's going to be a grave that's going to keep one alive. And now Kotaro going to turn must have and remains a must have but without him having any real dedicated damage i don't know how they kill root unless root just stands still for a five-man storm hammer and gets killed like i don't know how they're going to do it. it it all comes down to the spin initiation they just can't fight the spin hanging out to the north but what's he going to do 36 Blink left in? on his ultimate so it's not really somewhere they want to fight just yet they just need to delay until the the ultimate comes up the alt whiffs on everybody here that hurts and again the deso plus the Edict is going to mean for a fast tower. Tower goes down, again spamming Lightning to try to stop the Blink Daggers, released by him a couple times. The Edict damage goes through. Range Barracks almost done. There's the smoke. We almost have Sven ulti. They do glyph. Bit more time. 12 seconds. That's not going to be enough. Range Barracks is going to fall for sure. Another Lightning stopping the Blink on the SF. Range Barracks going down. 
They, they may want to fight. Oh, oh on creeps. That terrible, was even close. Terrible. TC, though, is a little bit left out, but the BKB's popped. They have a chance to move out. TC hit and missed everything on the Shivas. Kotaru Kotar did come back. in. Yep, he did manage to backstab. Now he's going to BKB with God Strength. And Moo in a bit of no man's land. Already used Leak. There's going to be the Yules. There's going to be a hey, grave as well. Good vacuum. There's oh, going to the be the wall as well. And now Kotaro trying now. Damage him. Can he do it? No. Air hits on SF2. There's the damage. Great force staff to save him. And Fluff is back. Bloodstone and the, and the BOTs. He gets back in. There's the heal. But that's two supports and a buyback already on Earthshaker. That melee barracks is going to fall almost Radiant's for sure. Echo Slam's already been used, so we won't see anything amazing happen here. And that's the second oh, direct arrow hit on the vacuum as well. That's a good double kill. And is that the end of the game? Is that that's it? Ball game. Man, Root Gaming taking it to unknown. Kotaro did his best to hold things together, but we just saw no levels out of the clockwork, and his presence was just, frankly, never relevant throughout the entire game. Nope. They really needed him to separate the supports, and Root gets the important one-game win. They need the next yep. one. That's what they have to do, and based on how that first game went, I definitely think they can Well, do I'm it. pretty sure for Unknown, that means they're, any realistic chance they had at going deep is pretty much over now, right? But that's still really impressive. They came from the oh, open oh, qualifier.